While the notorious Farah Abraham may joke about CPS, a lot of folks on social media aren't laughing. Yes, Sophia is a young teenager and seems to be her own person despite having Farah for a mom. But the choices that Farah continues to make for her daughter, the business choices in particular, are unnerving. Sophia's official social media accounts offer paid subscription options, including DMs with adult strangers. Is this okay? Is it even legal? Yes, that is Sophia Abraham appearing in a video on TikTok. The video did not stay there, it circulated around social media, including Instagram and Reddit, in the test, she promotes her subscriber feed and advertises a giveaway to devoted, paying followers. It is extremely normal, in many cases even healthy, for a 13-year-old to use social media. Like using AIM for millennials of that age or talking on the phone for Gen X, it's simply how they speak with friends. It's how they engage with the world. But most 13-year-olds are not the children of infamous reality TV villains. Unlike normal 13-year-olds, Sophia has well over 800k followers, almost all of whom are adults. And that's just on Instagram. There is always some discomfort when a girl that young is under the eye of so many adults. Normally, however, scions of celebrity families remain safely out of the reach of crazed fans and creeps alike. But Farah isn't just serving Sophia up on a silver platter. She is actively selling access to Sophia. The subscriber model, the private messages. That's a horror. Many people across social media are now voicing their concerns that Sophia is actively unsafe. If you like my videos, please like them and subscribe to my channel. No matter how friendly the conversation may seem, predatory adults can be manipulative and sinister. One needn't look into studies. Ask almost any woman on social media how she feels about random DMs, is this legal? She is not a celebrity. She's a child, asked a poster on Reddit. Another noted, Farah has been selling DMs with Sophia since she was like 7. The sad reality is that Farah is grooming her daughter publicly. She hasn't been able to be a child since, well, ever, another commenter lamented. She's had to meet her own emotional needs her whole life. A Redditor confirmed that, as a parent, the age would be a big no-no for me. Yeah it's deaf going to attract pedos, to promise private messages, another worried. That commenter then added, I would never let my child. Farah has been advertising DMs with Sophia for years, one commenter recalled. Another chimed in, the girl was born into exploitation and has no one to get her out of it. It is certainly true that Farah has been using Sophia's name, face, photos, and more for business for years. So, what is really happening here? As you saw, some commenters questioned the legality of all of this. We are sorry to say that, short of signing up Sophia for an adults-only platform, Farah has very few restrictions on her. The sad fact of American law is that children have few rights without parental advocacy. Farah has few limits in how she can use Sophia's brand while she's a minor. The best case scenario for all of this is that Sophia is not actually involved in any of this dystopian nonsense. Farah or a social media manager, perhaps one who lacks Farah's word salad tendencies, could manage the DMs and account. It might sound like Farah is allegedly defrauding people in this way, but it's certainly better than endangering Sophia.